Number one is to eat healthy. Praise God. Eat healthy. Very, very, very important. Eat healthy. You are my comforter, my Lord. For you have lifted me up and has not made my force to rejoice over me. very healthy has to do with doing away with a lot of things that we eat on our normal daily life you know like me now because of what I went through in the uh, few what I went through few years ago health wise I, I have come to realize that it's not everything that I'm supposed to eat but do we need to get to the hospital and be on or sick bed before we now say okay god if you give me a second chance i will now learn how to lead a very good life by eating healthy you know most of the time what causes uh, what makes us sick is 80 percent of the time is what we eat yes yes it's very true what we eat contributes a lot to our our health to live a very healthy lifestyle, you have to, number one, love God. Because I wanted to put it number two, but number one is to love God. Love God. If you if you are, you have been following me, you, you always, each, every of my video, I always say, God first, God first, God first. Please, you love God, and you know what to do when you love God. When you are in love with, with someone, you know what to do now. So when you have to love God love god if you love god you will follow the word of god if you love god you will do what the lord says you should do if you love god you will pray every day if you love god you will come in and communicate with god on a daily basis you don't wait until you go to see the pastor you don't wait until you go to church on a sunday you don't wait until a particular day before you communicate with god or before you pray so that whenever god wants to talk to you or on a, each and everything that has to do with your life god can always communicate with you because a place of prayer is a place of commun uh, communion uh, with god is a place where you communicate with god also praise god so god number one then healthy eating healthy food praise god eating healthy foods good food um um, um what is it called um the 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 nutrients that your body that your body needs daily vegetable fruits you know very very important very very important in this part of the world we don't take it to be anything you find that when i was growing up i can't remember the except you see your range on the on the tree that's when you can pluck it and god, god will help us and what i do every day i make sure i inculcate one three three or, or three or two different types of fruits into my diet daily yes it's very important vegetables fruits the normal food before now i can eat carbohydrates i can eat you eat eba you eat fufu you you now soak it in the night ask me the whole thing is the same thing if you soak gari and you eat eba and then you now eat fufu in the night. The same carbohydrate. In fact, you're just eating it in different forms. Please, let's eat healthy. Number two, number two, number two is to cons consume less sugar and less salt. Yes, consume less sugar and less salt. It will help you. It goes a long way. You can replace your sugar with stevia. And then your salt with hermelian pink salt. Some people will tell you that it's expensive. But I tell you, if you... God forbid you go to the hospital. If they tell you how much you will pay within that period, you will just divide the money and that be taken. And then you know that nothing is just taking you to the hospital of a sudden. Praise God. Nothing is taking you to the hospital of a sudden. So if you have a pink hermelian salt, or even the white one is still okay, or um, um, what is it called? The, the, some people use sea salt but I've, I've not used it i've not used it to cook but i what i use now is pink salt so i use it to replace the normal table salt so it's very very good and and then uh, make sure you, you you don't eat 
you make sure you take care of your health before you start having health challenge. That's what I wanted to say. Number three is um, to reduce your saturated fats. Reduce the intake of your saturated fats. Example of saturated fat is fried foods. Like somebody like my husband cannot do without eating fries, you know. But, you know, because I didn't grow up eating lots of fried foods and all that, I'm trying to, like, you know, minimize it for him. But, you know, most times people that grew up, everything is fried. Chicken is fried. Uh, uh, beef is fried. Um, chicken is, um, what is it called? Fish is fried. Whatever it is they want to eat is fried. All those things, they are not healthy. So try as much as possible to... In fact, when I was preg pregnant with my last baby, that was when I started eating pear. I am I, 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 avocado pear, yes, avocado. It's very, very important. It's very, very, very healthy. And in, in fact, it was when I started going for my tenetal that the, the, the matron told us that, in fact, as expectant mothers that we, we are supposed to be taking it daily, you know, or, you know, every, we make sure that we take it like thrice in a week. So every day I go out, I get to, when I get to the market, I'll make sure I get a avocado pear. Very, very important. But before, I don't like it. So you replace your butter with, um, with um, avocado and then eat less beef. Eat less beef. It's very, very important. Eat less beef. More of chicken. And if you're of age, like from 30 upwards, stop eating um, the back of chicken. Me um, um, medically, I heard it's not good. So in fact, it's not to uh, one month now that I got to know that it's not good. You know, when you're taking um, the chicken and you're eating eating it with the, the, the back. Praise God. Then um, make sure you drink lots of water. Make sure you drink lots of water. Make sure you drink lots of water. I am actually telling you this as what I do and it's working for me. Before now, I was weighing, um, my weight was like 115. But as I'm talking to you now, before I made this video, I, 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 I weigh um, 85. Yes, 85. So I'm not doing bad at all. Yes, yes, I do my exercise, and I, I tell you, I started doing all these things before, but uh, after, after being hospitalized for months, you know, and it was a health challenge that has to do with fat and every other thing. So I don't want you to be on sick bed before you now start knowing the, the, the right things to do, you know, when it, when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle. God bless you. Then another thing is alcohol. Alcohol is bad. Whether you take it small or big, it's not good for your health. Alcohol is not good. Taking alcohol is not good. So it will help you to stay healthy if you stay away from alcohol. God bless you. Number five is smoking. Avoid, avoid smoking. You, you, you can imagine the, the, the tobacco companies that write smoking is dangerous to health. Yet, the smoker still buys it and then smokes. So please, stay away from smoking if you want to live a healthy lifestyle. Please, if you're just seeing me for this first time, God bless you. Subscribe to this channel and like this video and God will bless you. Thank you for joining this growing family of God. Thank you so much. And number, number six is to do regular yearly overall check like you know to run test you know comprehensive test i do it i started doing it last year once in a year you just go to the to your to your um your local health um your primary health care provider your doctor you know and then tell you want to do a comprehensive test and when you start doing it you find out that it's it's better because if you, if you know about any disease or sickness in your body and then you, you are able to dictate it on time and get treated on time it will save you a lot you know god bless you number seven is to do exercise i would have put it first because that is number it's supposed to be number one 
But then, it's very important. It's very, very, very important if you want to live a very healthy lifestyle. It's very important to do your exercise every morning. It's non-negotiable. Do your exercise once you wake up in the morning. Do your prayers. Do your meditation. The next thing is to do your exercise. Even if it is 10 minutes, it counts. What matters is the consistency. What matters is that you're doing it regularly. It's not about doing it today and not doing, doing one hour today and then not doing it again. If you're doing 10 minutes every day, make sure you maintain that 10 minutes exercise daily. And it will help you so much. It will help you. It will help you. Then I, I, another thing I wanted to say is to stay away from toxic friends. If you know that, because if you have negative friends and people would have always complained, if you have friends that always complain, before you know it, you will start, it will, it will rub off on you. You will start complaining. You will start, you, you become a, you will just keep murmuring. Even when you have talked to God about a particular thing, you have taken it to God in prayer. Before you know it, you will start complaining. Because most of your friends, this is how they live their lives. So if you have friends that always, always, every now and then they are just complaining, they are just telling, telling you that what they have is not enough. My sister, my, before you know it, you will join them, you will join them because show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. So if most of your friends are people that complain a lot, they are negative people, please, please stay away from them. And also stay away from toxic environment. I, I'm, I'm sure you understand what I mean. It will help you. It will help you. And it will, it will help you to live a long life. God bless you. Number eight is to prevent for people living in Lagos, Abuja, for, for Nigerian people, for people in Africa, for people in the rest of the world where mosquitoes are everywhere, everywhere, no matter how clean the environment is. Please make sure you use insecticide, you know, like twice or three times in a week. Then sleep under the mosquito net if they need be. It's very important because mosquito is a very deadly, you know, insect that can, you know, it can inflict us. It can transmit different diseases into our bodies. Praise God. Number nine is to get enough sleep. I've said it in one of my videos. Get enough sleep. It's very important. Get enough sleep. If you want to lead a very healthy lifestyle, get enough sleep. And then and make sure you sleep at the same time every day. Like if you go to bed by nine, make sure it's by nine every day so that by the time you wake up, you will feel more relaxed. You, you will feel rejuvenated. You will feel good. Praise God. Number 10 is, I've said, avoid negative people. Number 11 is to avoid, is, um, avoid negativity within yourself. Yes. It's very, yes. There are some thoughts that keep coming to you. If this thought keeps coming to you, please avoid it. There are some things you can do that you know that, okay, well, I can do this to stay away from this. Now, Shabby, this body is mine. Please avoid negativity. Renew your thoughts. Renew your minds on the word of God. Get a new song to sing. Buy um, all these small, small MP3s. Download wonderful songs. You can download precious Okuchuku songs. You know, I'm also, I'm also a gospel artist. You can download my song. You can download Messi Chimo's song. You can download beautiful Christian songs that are out there. Listen to it. Renew your mind. Refresh your mind. You know, remove those toxic thoughts. Those things that you know as your thing. Let me tell you, when you keep thinking bad thoughts, it will keep eating you up. Like, it, it's, like, it's, it's like a virus. It will keep eating the good cells in your body up. And before you know it, any little thing will just take, you, you will become ill. You will become sick. Because everything in your thought is toxic and acidic. Yes, you will begin to, it's, your brain will begin to produce only something that will kill your body. Because you're not thinking a good thought. You are angry, you are, you are stressed out, people are just making you angry, you cannot be happy. I mean, if you're living based on what the society is saying or what is happening around you, 
it kills you. God forbid, I hear that cancer is being caused by anger, depression, anxiety, fear. So stay away from all those things. God bless you. Number 12 is to avoid trigger foods. Like now, before I, before I was before, before I was hospitalized a few years ago, I, I like noodles a lot. But now if I, I, I now found out that noodles was one of the foods that was even causing those allergic reactions in my body those days. I, if, I, if I eat noodles now, before I keep the, the plates in the kitchen, I will start having this serious, serious heartburn, serious heartburn, just from nowhere. So know, know your own trigger food. Know the foods that you're allergic to that you, when you eat it. Don't, don't mind people. Oh. My mother was telling me the other day that um, there's um, a particular medicine that if I take, it's a local, this local, that if I take it, I can eat anything I want. I was like, there's some things that, I, that, that I'm allergic to that if not because I was in the hospital, I wouldn't have been able to start picking and thinking of what did I eat that caused this? What did I eat? So know your body, what your body does not want. Please do away with it. Who are you? You are a spirit living in a body that has a soul. Without, without, without your body, you can't function on this planet Earth. So whatever it is you eat that does not that does not go well with your body, with your system, please let that thing be. Even if the whole family members or siblings, everybody takes it and it's okay for them. Your own body system is different. So on this note, I'm bringing this video to an end. And God bless you. See you in our next video. Please make sure you subscribe and remain blessed.